All right, everybody. Welcome to our first look logging series. <clears throat> uh, what we're going to do in this series is look at some of these farm maps that have been brought out that have been that have had nice forestry areas added to them. Today we're on Osina, and I know a lot of this map is primarily farming. I understand that, but this area down here all forest and I know you think hey that's not too much considering the rest of it's forestry I mean farming but this is a good size map guys so this is a pretty decent chunk of logging over here and uh, what we hope doing this series is just give you some other options uh, for places to go and log if you're getting burnt out on whatever map you're on uh, currently I'm logging Rogue River by Mirathus Catalyst uh, Catalyzer Gaming Chad done a really great job with that map and I'm really enjoying it. But today what we're going to do is look on some of these other maps, which we'll start, like I said, we'll start a series on it, a little bit of a Logger's World Tour and find you some different areas to look at. So uh, let's go for a little tour. I'm not going to use a tractor. Thought about using a pickup, but we're loggers. Let's, let's go big. Let's get us a truck. And let's go ahead and throw a log trailer on there. Let's make it look like we're doing something. We'll use uh, the bio belts the trailer here by Toxic On. Alrighty, now what we'll do since we're over close to the mill over here, we'll go ahead and look at the mill first. And then we'll go look at the, our logging areas. Now, I have looked on this map already and I was really impressed so. I wanted to do a little tour here to show you guys that uh, there are some other options out here. Uh, the map maker on this map done a phenomenal job in the forestry area, guys. I mean, it really deserves a, a little bit of attention. So first, we're going to run over to the mill. Your mill's right here by the shop. It is a long haul from the forest to the mill, but it ain't supposed to be easy, guys. It's logging. So let's go in here, and right here you'll find your wood chip cell point right here to your right. Right here in this area is where you'll dump your wood chips. Say the trigger area here. We've got some wood in here, an old bandsaw over here. On rail. Here's some of the sound effects. Got some wood here and here. And I really noticed this and I like this. Look at the detail. OSB. And I mean, it is very well textured. I really like that. I like the little details. I mean, obviously this really serves no purpose but for decoration, but it is highly detailed. Looks very good there. So down here, you'll pull through the mill and uh, you'll go to your log cell point. That'll be right here as you see the trigger for it, right here. And then you'll have to sell on this double, you'll have to sell one bunk at a time. Because you can't fit the whole trailer in there. And there's your trigger right there on the left. So let's pull out of here. Got some more logs. I really like this sawmill. Uh, it's got an old feel to it. Like it's been here a long time. Let's see if we can turn this monster. Got some more decoration out here. Wood, planks and stuff. The board's been cut. So let's head to the forestry area. Like I said, this, this map tour ain't going to be long. Uh, we're just checking out the forestry area we don't care how big the fields are we don't care how good the price of soybean is or cotton we are going to log so let's hit this road here nice little black top road and let's head up to the forestry area I uh, really noticed all the detail in this map. Like I said, a lot of these uh, map makers are really uh, recognizing the logging side of it. And they're trying to make, a lot of guys now are making maps for both worlds, which I'm fine with driving through some cornfields and stuff to get to the woods. I mean, it's very realistic. Uh, I know here where I'm from, we pass a, a lot of fields of corn and hay and tobacco until and you find the forestry area forestry areas where the loggers are working. So we're going to run up through here. 
Got some fields withered over there. Someone ain't been doing their harvesting. Plowboys. <laughs> so let's follow the map up here. Looks like we need to take a turn up here. I think it is on the left. I've been through this forest here once. Oh, yeah, this is it. This little sign right here. Give a look. Look at people just sitting there. I like the detail. Oh, boy, what the? Try not to go to this guy's field. The roads are nice on here, guys, as you can see. Bump easy, the cattle rattling. I like it. Nice little dark gravel road. Uh, there is one issue I noticed with the map coming up, and you'll know if you get on and try it. Uh, the road kind of ends up here, but it shows on the map that the road goes on, and you drive through part of a little field, which I think we could fix that and make our own road. You go through a little patch up here where there is no road, it's just field. Oh, what a hit. Look at a bush. Stop dead. We're going to veer right here to the right. As you see, there's a little bit of the field here is in to the road a little. It's be all right with them, but when the potatoes come up, that'll look pretty cool. Straddling it with the front end of a truck. So let's go down this little road here. <clears throat> Driving the Lizard Warrior, which is my favorite truck in this game because it's a short nose day cab, short wheelbase. I like it. It's good for some of these tighter areas versus a longer wheelbase. Well, let's roll down through here. And up here you're going to see what I was talking about where this road kind of ends and it just goes straight into the field down here. And if you just keep on the edge of that field and go a little further, you'll get right back to your road. And a heck of a long haul road it is, guys. It's bumpy. It's rutted. It's muddy. That's the way a logging road should be. So right here our road ends. So we're going to stick here to the side and hopefully we can clear some of these trees out. And, uh, make this little road right through here you see here's your road back let's go ahead right click on let's buy this forestry area here 591,000 when I first seen the price I was like wow but there's a lot of trees down here guys this forest is dense and it is beautiful look here look at these ruts now, that's the way a hollow road's supposed to be it ain't smooth it ain't perfect it is rutted, it's rocks. Look at that truck shake. Trailer rocking. I like it. So we're gonna go up through here. Imagine hauling a load straight out here, guys. This is beautiful. Got a little thunderstorm passing through here right now. I'm not hearing the thunder in the background. Let me get some wheel spin in here, guys, in these ruts, which I like. Look right at that front end of sliding. Let's zoom up here on this truck here. Look at this road. Look at this little crevice coming down here in this little trench. Looks like it's been bulldozed right out of the rock here. Beautiful area. Make our turn here. We'll have to take that tree out. But I was going to show you right quick. Look at the variety of trees, guys. You've got Tall pine, giant pine, small pine, mostly pine, and I like that. Uh, there is some of those weird, awkward shaped trees that you have a hard time cutting. But I've actually started just cutting them and taking the base off and uh, cutting about a five meter chunk out the biggest part, throwing them on the trucks, chipping the rest of it if they're in the way. Come through here to a pond. Uh oh, we're underwater. Nice sound effects, though. But this forest goes all the way down through there, guys. This is all yours when you buy this. Now, that'd be nice coming over that little knoll there with a tract filler buncher just dropping trees through here. Oh, I can't wait to do this one. I am going to wait, though, uh, till we find out some more about the tract John Deere equipment from North Modding Company and uh, T Bone and Exacut have made. I uh, did talk to T-Bone today, and uh, he's pretty sure that the issue Giants has had in testing some of the equipment that they can fix. 
So we should know something later. I like this truck. Alright, let's roll on up through here. Look at this road, guys. Let's turn the light on there. There you go. Alright, we can get the right on. I'm spinning. You can hear that truck spinning on this road. I like it. This is so far probably the best haul road I've seen in a map yet on FS19. A lot of detail in this forest. Look at this, guys. Look at the detail in there here. The little nose you come up over. Oh, I couldn't even turn there for a second and run it out so bad. What's that wheel? Well, you come up here to a clearing, and here's a meadow. And you own the meadow. The meadow comes with this. Let's back this truck up here. So right here's what I'm thinking for a good loading deck. Let's go ahead and... I think it's all mud good. I like mud. Let's clear us out a little area here. Oh yeah, good and muddy. Look at that, that's nice. That's a nice picture right there. Screenshot. Let's pull on out of here. That's like so this will be our loading deck here. Bring your trucks in here on a swing. Park them right in here. Load them. Whip back around. Come back out. There's a deer stand over there. Be a nice little area over there for a chipper and a trailer to do take care of your tops and stuff. But guys, this is an amazingly done map. Let's zoom out here. Here's what we own when you buy this chunk of land. You own up here to the the border wall, you can see it right there. See that right there? That's your that's where the map ended. But I noticed it ended over here too, and I kind of believe that they was done with this map and decided to add a forestry area because they come over and done it over here. Big crack of thunder. But uh it's very nice to know. Like I said, we own all the way through here, guys, all of this. Look at the logs. You want all the way over here to this border wall, right here. Right here where it stops. All the way down through here. This will be a beautiful area to log, guys. Very realistic. Very nice. There's the pond we walked through a minute ago, and it comes out all the way over to this field. You want all the way up beside it through here to this road. Right here you don't own, but over here you do. We will have to find a way down here to... Oh, we own right through here. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. We'll find a way to put a road in here. But if not, we'll drive through that to this field. This is just beautifully done. So, guys, this is the old Cena map just released here not long ago on Farming Simulator 19. Uh, like I said, with this series, what we're going to do is show you some. Just got, I mean, you know, you a lot of maps you can see when they hit the mod hub, they're logging maps. And then you see these little farm maps like this, and you're like, oh, well, I ain't downloading it. There's no reason to. Guys, you're missing some very nice forestry areas if you don't. Osina is one of those maps. Uh, they have a smaller forestry area. Therefore, I think they put more detail into it. it looks really nice, guys. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to, no big deal, but whatever you do, have a good day. See you in the forest.